I was um, 40 weeks pregnant and one day, and I was getting to that stage of pregnancy, I was ready to have my baby, I have a three year old already, so I was like, right. Um, and I went to bed that night, and I woke up the next morning, and I kind of felt a bit uncomfortable. Um, my first labor was really long, took 24 hours, so I was in no rush at that stage. Uh, yes, yeah, so it was our first call in the morning. We got a call for uh, an active labor, meaning someone knows they're pregnant and they're probably at the stage of delivering the baby because they have pain. I said, I've got to have a shower and I couldn't get up from the bed and I was like, oh, this is really fast, I can't believe this. So then I looked at the phone and it was eight o'clock in the morning, so that's when I decided we better call an ambulance, N11, eight o'clock on a Wednesday morning, not a good thing. Ambulance emergency. At that time in the morning, the traffic is unbelievable on the N11. It's just bumper to bumper, and it's the whole way to Dublin, and this lady was attending on the street. So when we got there, she had literally rang the ambulance because she thought, we'll never get there if we're sitting in the car in the traffic, and all I need really is, is a lift, basically, with blue lights and sirens going, getting past all the traffic. On arrival, we found Mammy upstairs in the bedroom, uh, and in quite obvious pain and distress uh, with contractions coming quite regularly. I still at that stage felt like it was going to be an hour or two. I still didn't believe fully that the baby was going to be born there and then. We thought we could actually probably move her down to the ambulance and start making our way towards hospital. Of course I went and I got an old chair and a blanket thinking it would be a handy one. Uh, although on my way upstairs I could train the to say uh, now we're going to be hanging on here and that we'd require some other equipment. We realised that baby was, was coming ASAP and that we were going nowhere. So uh, we, got, we got her prepared for having the baby in the bed and she just, she couldn't believe that. She kept saying, no, like, I'm in my bed, I'm here, I'm not, like, bring me to the hospital. And we thought, no, we can't, we just, the baby's coming now, so we have to stay here. They both just took over the situation and made not just me, but everybody in the house calm. I had a three-year-old, my mother, who's also a bit frantic. Um, you know, everybody was calmed, like nobody was worried or, you know, it was just such a nice situation and they totally knew what they were doing and I couldn't have asked for two nicer people. Baby was born, a uh, little baby boy. Uh, no hassles, that was good, mammy was good, baby was good. Baby was delivered within maybe 15 minutes of us starting and she, the whole family was amazed that we had just, we had just assisted with the delivery as we like to say now because obviously she did all the work but I still could I still sometimes hear her voice in my head telling me like to breathe relax and you know take your gas and air and all those things that they would have been done for me in the hospital but she was just amazing and Andy at the, you know coming in and out and doing everything that needed to be done it was just it was a very special experience because of the two of them they do an amazing job when you deliver a baby you're with that person it's a very intimate moment and all the rest of you get to um, you get to know them a bit better, they want to know your name and you, you find out the name of the new child so it's a bit of an introductory. I was given Kitty in a bottle in the bed where he was born and I looked up and saw Ireland AM and I saw Andy's face and I, my heart skipped a beat. I couldn't believe it. I, I was really like, is that him? Is that him? Because they're kind of, their faces are a bit of a blur to me because I was going through so much that morning and I just sent a tweet into the show and with a picture of Killian because I just wanted to let him know that I was still thinking of him, didn't want this time to go past without getting up to see them and seeing their faces and thanking them myself personally and Khan and the rest of us as well and for them to meet little Killian as well. Delighted, it's brilliant because God, he's gorgeous. <laughs> he, we love him. He's a dot and it's great. I won't be doing it again in a hurry. That's the other thing. <laughs> no. 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 All right. So, no. so you guys are the first. Come on.